viewers all over the world and with my visitors from all over the world who have come here. I have taken this decision of sitting down one-on-one -on -one with my visitors on Saturday and uh, after that I brought my son and his wife they are prophets they will have a service also who are prophetic service so this is the service that I will offer all visitors I'm repeating myself are you watching amen are you watching okay viewers all over the world I believe you are watching us all the time as we have visitors all over the world expecting the results as they pray from different continent believing that when they land to Charis Missionary Church they will have results I have taken this decision that all my visitors will go home being satisfied as I've been doing that. But this time I've ex extended the service. After one-on-one -on, -one on Saturday or Thursday, we will have a service, which is prophetic service. I'll bring my son and his wife as is a prophet and prophetess. They will minister to my visitors prophetically. And then I believe my visitors will be satisfied and you'll be blessed. I'm expecting all my visitors to come back with a great testimony. I know you are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. My visitors, are you ready for something like that? So these are the visitors that I have now who will be going the prophetic service with my son and my daughter. And then I know something is going to happen in their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. My visitors all over the world. Normally I see people one-on-one -on -one aside because of their personal problems. But this one, it won't be a personal service. There's no secret because you are going to hear when other people are hearing. And then your prophecy will edify another one. Congratulations. God bless you. If you're excited, you can say amen. Amen. This is going to be a very good day for you. So I thank you people, when you leave from here, you'll be blessed. Amen. Uh, I was looking at, uh, I was looking at you. You can stand up. Uh, can I speak with you, my brother? When I was, I was here, I was hearing the issue of the calling. Huh? Are you a pastor? But I was told by my father that I've got a calling. Huh? Not, not yet, but I was told that I've got a calling. You were told by who? By my father yesterday. Uh, I was seeing the issue of you crying to be a prophet. Yes, yes, I've been praying for that for a long time. You've been praying, but uh, I was seeing a case on the side of your family that many of them, they don't believe in God. To, to that side, I have no idea. What I'm saying is, if you become a prophet, you'll be the first. Yeah, 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 yeah that's true. It's you'll true. be the first prophet in the whole of your family. Yes, yes, I don't think anybody's called in your family. That's what I'm saying. Those people, it's like, you know, Christianity to them is something else. So from today, I believe, because your eyes, you're, you're trying to be a prophet, but I'm not, you're not seeing anything. Huh? You're not seeing anything, but after we pray for you today, I, I believe God is going to open your eyes. Amen. And you'll be a prophet when you return from this place. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. And another issue is the issue of marriage. Huh? Yeah. Because 
if I think for you to be here, it was the plan of God. Because Satan wants to delay you. Huh? It's true. It's true. Where's your wife? That's what I'm saying. Satan wants to delay you, delay you, delay you, so that, you know, this thing, your age will be going, will be going. And on the other side, it will be discouraged. Because even the issues of money, I'm not seeing anything. It's true. Huh? It's true. It's true. So, but from today, you're going to be released from this situation. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! You are free. your name and where you come from? Uh, my name is Perseverance and I come from Zambia. And can you tell us the prophecy you received from uh, the uh, children of Apostle today? Um, okay, at least I received, I think, three prophecies. Number one, concerning my calling and uh, concerning my marriage and uh, concerning my finances. Yeah. What was said about those three things? Uh, concerning my marriage, uh, I just want to confirm it's true because also the apostle yesterday, he told me the same thing that I should pray about the marriage, although I did not know that I even had these issues waiting for me ahead. And um, about the calling, I've been praying to God to um, anoint me as a as a prophet so i thank god that today it was confirmed and when it comes to finances i believe that has to do with uh, my family yeah it's, uh, things are not moving well for them yes are they struggling financially yes yes i be i believe so yeah and when uh, you were told about uh, these three things, these three challenges, uh, what came to your mind? Uh, well, um, what came to my mind is that I'm just glad that I was told. And once uh, the time I was told, I know and I believe that uh, everything is settled by the grace of God. Mm. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Uh, words of encouragement to the viewers is that uh, Charlie's number one is the best, best place to be. Yeah, those who need direction, uh, deliverance, I encourage them to come here and surely they will never regret of anything because God is here. Amen. Thank you. What I saw when you were sitting down, I will ask you this question, where is your sister? In Toronto. And where is your mother? And your, probably your grandmother is already late, right? Your grandmother, she's already late. Like she's no more, right? You say your mother is where? Okay, and then your sister is in Toronto. I'm asking you because in your family you have a, a generational case which is a, a disease that jumps from one person to the next. Like all of you, like what I'm trying to say in natural is that all of you, you have the same disease. It's you, it's your sister, it's your mother. Also your grandmother had the same disease. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I know. My sister, she has like mental health, but my mom, she don't have it. But the disease that you have, your mother has it. Your mother has it. You didn't know about it. When you get home, ask her, she will tell you. She doesn't want to tell you because she, she, like she's afraid that all of you, you will panic and you'll be afraid that she's about to die. The same diabetes, your grandmother died from it. Because now the devil wants to take the same disease that you have and pass it on. He just wants to keep passing it on in your family to kill the whole family with one disease. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Are you understanding what I'm saying? But then since you came here, when you go home, everything will be sorted. Hmm? 
because your feet they used to burn and your ankles here yeah, your knees they would get tired at times you feel like it's it's as if you don't have um I don't know what they call it is it lig ligaments yes at times you feel like you don't have ligaments and you and you were now thinking that you also have arthritis yes hmm? yes because of the same disease yes because uh, I have uh, like you know like professional from health car that's why I say why they have this one when I see that one other people when I the same feeling oh maybe I have it it's been caused by one disease. It's just a demon. It's not a real disease. It's a demon that wants to finish your whole household. Hmm? Did your husband also tell you that he is also sick? Yes. You didn't tell. He didn't tell you that. Why you didn't tell your wife that you are sick? I don't want to confess it. I don't want to give up to Satan. You, you're not giving up to Satan, ne? I understand your husband is also sick, but not of the same type of a disease ne? although you do have symptoms of sugar diabetes hmm? like oh, at night when you are sleeping you sweat a lot you get too much thirsty during the day there are moments where you feel you feel like you are tired like you you are dizzy you will fall and when you walk you'll be watching your steps am I right From, about anything from today mm -hmm. huh did he pray for you yesterday yes. as God is healing you nobody will ever die of sugar diabetes in your family no one when you are going home you will never feel your ankles you will never feel dizzy you will never feel anything your health will be totally restored Amen. are you hearing me you are blessed Amen. in Jesus name There is an idol that they used to worship in your family. Yes, it's uh, idol worshiping in our country is common. Which country are you from? From Eritrea. Where is Eritrea? East Africa. Or oh, Eastern Africa. But there is an idol that they used to worship in your family. Hmm? That this this idol in your family they sacrificed to everybody. Like they initiated the whole generations, even generations to come. And what am I saying? Is it making sense to you? Yes. Your ancestors or your great great grandparents, when they worshipped an idol, they sacrificed their entire generation, including you and your children, your grandchildren, and things like that. You understand me? For, for, yes. For you to come and worship this God. Now this God is trying to manipulate all of your lives. Everything around you is trying to manipulate your finances, your marriage, including your health, everything, including your children, everything. It tried to man manipulate it. But as you live here, everything is settled. You will have peace from today. Are you hearing me? Where are your children? You don't have children. Get ready for children. Are you hearing me? When, 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 sorry, ne? But when my husband was talking about children, I saw you having triplets. I don't know if you are ready for it. Because I saw the house you are living in. God bless you. It's something. I saw the house you are living in. Huh? It's like a double story house, but you don't have much room. I mean, your rooms, they are small in the house. Hmm? I only have one bedroom. Huh? I only have one bedroom. You only have one bedroom. So you see what I'm saying? God is also going to bless you with your house. So that when you now have your children, because I saw kids running in your house and it's, it's like your kitchen is from here to here. That's how small your kitchen is. It's from this pole to this pole. Your dining room is just maybe two steps increased to your kitchen. Your house, it's, it's, huh? it's congested. Like you have a lot of furniture in a small space. And there's no enough room. Go home, extend your house. Where's your husband? Yeah, go home. Go home and extend the house. That's what the business is coming to do. For you to be able to expand. Because if you don't expand, you, you're going to have a problem. 
in your home. Ne? God bless you. My name is Asir Tahle. I came from Canada, Toronto. And I came, uh, my name is Tashem Abayene. I came from Toronto, Ontario. And then can you confirm the prophecy that you were given? Yeah, the prophecy was he told me like that we'll have a kids. So, yeah, and that I have a problem in my womb. That But they could eat. The doctor told me that they have the fibroids. That, that's true. And for how long have you been searching for a child? Uh, for four years and a half. And Papa, can you also confirm the prophecy that uh, you received? Yeah, I confirm that uh, on Thursday, Apostle uh, Mekananissa said that I have a desire to be an evangelist and to go all travel all over the world. And it's true because I have been having that desire uh, to be an evangelist. So uh, I, I confirm that it's true. It is true that, and he said that I will be traveling all over the uh, the world, and that's also true. And I, he also mentioned that I have um, the the inspiration of uh, the apostle Paul in the Bible, and he, uh, and he, that is true because to the extent that when we have a child, we said we will be naming after him, and that's what he said. And I'm always. Uh, uh, admire of Paul uh, and I, I won't like to be an, an example uh, an, uh, like one him. Yeah, so it's confirmed to be true. Yeah. Well, he said in a business, uh, uh, to, to be honest, it, it was not in my dream, but he said that uh, I need a business because I need to, co to, to finance uh, my evangelism, otherwise it wouldn't be possible. So I didn't see that side, but he said uh, his argument makes sense that I need money for traveling, so he saw some kind of business but which I, w I was not thinking of. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Prophetess uh, Tendo also talked about the issue of expanding a house. Can you confirm about that? Uh, yeah, he said that, that we'll have, we'll have, like, we have a one bedroom, so he told us we will have a triple kid, so yeah, he's right that she's right that right now we have only one bedroom. So yeah, but we would like to mention that also we already have a big house that we bought it just uh, last uh, August. So probably she was speaking about that. Uh, so it is a little bit out of the town where we're living and we rented it out. But we have a house already that, uh, that God has given us uh, last August. Yeah. And so do you believe that your visit to Charis Missionary Church was worth it? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, I believe it's a true prophecy. That's why I'm here. I, I was watching on YouTube and everything when I say, oh, I must go, I must go there. So I believe it's true. Yeah, God bless them. Yeah. Well, I, I am pleased with all the things that happened to us when we came here. It is beyond our expectations because uh, I had that dream again about being evangelist, but I wasn't quite sure. So the apostle has confirmed that uh, uh, that is the way th that God has intended for me. So I am more than happy and I know where I am going from now onward in my spiritual world. Thank you. I'm hearing the issue of money, 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 money. Huh? Are you doing business? Huh? Huh? But I'm hearing money, 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 money. You must be careful that you must be careful of going out of the ministry and going to do business. Huh? Because it came to your mind. Huh? I, I saw you thinking about doing business except the ministry. Huh? But but God, let's speak like this. But God wants to raise you. Amen. Huh? Amen. You know God wants to raise you on the side of the ministry. Yes. But I saw a struggle. Big one. Huh? Big one. I'm seeing a church that is not growing. It's true. It's true. So now this church is like, can I can I tell you? Yes. It's like this church is, is moving like this. Mm -hmm. huh? And you've been praying so that God must bring people that will support you. Yes. But it's tough. Very tough. Are you Nigerian? Yes. 
Huh? You're from Nigeria? Yes. And God is going to raise you because on your, on your side of the family, I was seeing people that are worshipping things. Yes, correct. Huh? Confirmed yesterday. Huh? It was confirmed on the one over there. It was confirmed yesterday. Yes. So now the very same spirit, you must be careful because this spirit can end up making you and your wife to have disagreements. Yes. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Because I was seeing you people sitting in the house, sometimes there are funny, funny arguments. Yes, correct. Huh? It's, true. it's true. So, but this, this, this spirit is there to, so that it will pull you down mm. on the issues of the ministry. Do you know that? I do, I do. But when you return from here, Amen. Because I was hearing you talking alone, say, I want this grace that my father is here. That's correct. That's what, that's what brought me here. Uh, God, God is going to do it. Amen. When you return home, you'll see even the church will grow. Amen. And this spirit that is fighting you, uh, this spirit will get out of your house. Amen. Amen. You're hearing me? Amen. And the money is coming. Amen. Amen. Money. I'm talking about money. Amen. It's coming. Amen. And you must be careful of invitations. Mm. Huh? Yes. Because I was seeing many people that are against you. There are many. Huh? Yes, I was seeing pastors. You are 100% huh? correct. 100% correct. That are against you. Yes. Listen, they are still going to stand against you because they won't understand how God is using you. God told me before I came here. Huh? Exactly what God told me before I came here. Before you I came here. Say, in Jesus' name. Let me pray for you. Come out. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' mighty name. I set you free today. You are free indeed.